I'm Dr. Brian McDonough, and today I have a confession to make. I am really afraid of COVID-19. I mean, I don't want to die from COVID-19. That's why I wear a mask. That's why I social distance. But even though I'm afraid, and I'm admitting I'm afraid, it doesn't stop me from going in and seeing patients. But when I see patients who have COVID-19, and I know they have COVID-19, I'm very concerned. I meticulously put on PPE to protect myself. I'm talking N95 mask. I'm talking about a shield over my face. I'm talking about gown, gloves, making sure I have scrubs on underneath, and that I discard all of those things in a safe, effective manner. I'm scared of COVID-19. The problem is I don't think enough people are. All I had to do was watch my favorite sport last weekend. I'm a big Philadelphia Phillies fan. I've watched them win. I've watched them lose, mostly lose over the years, but that's okay. But this weekend I saw something I couldn't believe, and I actually feel bad for the Phillies. Not because they lost two out of three to a horrible baseball team, the Miami Marlins, but because they actually were put in a position by the Miami Marlins where they were exposed to COVID-19. You see, this dreadful baseball team, I guess, wasn't worrying about their season. They went out on a Thursday night, even though they were supposed to stay in their hotel room. And they, where they went apparently was a bar. It was a setting that probably wasn't so great. And a number of players became positive. In fact, one tested positive before a game, and there was concerns about others. But the team decided to get together. And in a group chat, maybe a Zoom meeting, who knows what it was, they voted. Now, they voted as a team and said, we're going to play. I don't know if they told the Phillies that they had any positive exposure or not, but the Phillies played them. So on the baseball field, there were people who within a day had been exposed to other people who were positive, and they played baseball. Now, just think about that. I put on an incredible amount of gear, like I said, because I'm a chicken, but these tough baseball players, they're not worried about it. Well, within a couple of days, 17 Miami Marlins tested positive with the virus. A coach for the Philadelphia Phillies, two clubhouse attendants have tested positive. People are now in a situation where theoretically their lives could be at risk, just like 151,000 people in this country have lost their lives. And that's my concern. Major League Baseball is still concerned about whether or not they have to wait five, six, or seven games to miss. They should be waiting 14 days in quarantine. And frankly, I know there's a union, but something should be done about these players and the reprehensible behavior. They should be called out on it. And people who are not acting responsibly need to be called out on it. We're not talking about the common cold here. And I wish people would start to understand what we are talking about. We're talking about a virus that is killing people throughout the world. We're only in the early stages. Yeah, I hope we get a vaccine. Yes, I hope we have treatments. But right now, we need to use common sense. In Major League Baseball, their leadership have to understand what they are doing. Sadly, I think baseball is a microcosm of society. What we're seeing in our own society throughout the United States is what we're seeing in baseball. It's no wonder we're still in trouble.